What's up, YouTube? It's the Kid Rad Beasy, and you're tuning in to Radical TV King. King. Smash the notification bell, hit that like button. Today's video is titled, Why Do Marvin Women Keep Their Options Open? What's wrong with being loyal? Let's dive in. I mean, yeah. there's a problem that I think like every man has with that. If you mm -hmm. guys don't make it clear with us that you guys want something serious, of course we're going to keep our options open. Mm -hmm. Like, that's for sure. So, like, you can't expect us to be, like, curving everybody if we're not sure if you're going to be with us. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I feel like even after that's known, you still keep it open just because. Like, think about it, right? Your Instagram. I don't know. You get DMs all, all day, right? Doesn't mean I answer them, but I may look at them. Exactly. They're there. But I'm not answering them. But the thing is, options are always in front of your face. So no matter what, no matter what I do, they're always going to be in okay. your face. So you don't want a woman that, like, is desired by other men? I want a woman that come home, comes home to me, that only sees me in that light, but at the same time can tell guys no. But that's hard okay. to find because nowadays, like, you got athletes, rappers, celebrities, how... It's tough to say no. It really is tough to say no. Easy temptation. Say yeah. I but at the same time, if you want me and everything I bring to the table, then it's kind of like, okay, you know what? If you can't do that one thing, then I'm, I'm cool. Okay. Look at look, Miss uh, Mexico. You know, she got proposed to and she broke yeah. the God. <laughs> like, forget, forget that. She's like, ready for it. <laughs> there you go. And, and do you hear what they said? Like, Miss Mexico here that she proposed to and she messed it up. It's funny that women take so light of that. So light of of a lifelong thing that they actually want a relationship, a bond with somebody, a child that is so. <laughs> I messed it up. I will get another one. You know, men, we do want a woman. You said you said that men got a problem with having a woman that other men are attracted to. No, if we're going to choose you eighty plus percent based off of your looks, <laughs> we understood that other men is going to be attracted to you. That's the main reason why we chose you. However, what he's trying to say is we want a woman that has the presence of mind, that's mentally fit enough to know that, hey, on average, it's more men, it's more women than men. So if I actually get the man that I actually truly desire, that's that protector, provisionist, provider, priest. Why would I be looking at other stuff? Why would I be entertaining these DMs and scrolling my thumb up and down, looking at the hey big ears, looking at the hey boos? Why would I then be double tapping his profile to see, hmm, has he came up? Has he got that promotion yet? Now I get it. Women date heavily based off security. Heavily based off security. And that's why, fellas, in that moment, even when they get that man, how they even admit it to, they still may entertain some of those DMs because she may feel with her, her price as far as her beauty, her cooperativeness, that she may feel that she got levels levels to go. She may not feel that she topped out yet. So she may not be willing to, what they say, settle for you. You know? And yes, I get it. That is hard for women. It's hard for women to... Um, Ignore that possibility of the next person may have more than the person they're with. And by God, they are settling. I can't settle. And then they end up not having anything. But let's keep on diving in. Okay, um, so next question. Uh, um, Shari Tom. Okay. Uh, I'm you got to talk into the mic, though. Oh, I'm genuinely just curious about this. Sure. Okay, so I, I see, like, guys who obviously make a lot of money... And they go for these, like, I don't even want to say it, but, like, they, go, they go for putas. Like, <laughs> sometimes the putas be getting that good, good. No, so, like, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, for instance, like, uh, it's like a girl can work so hard and working so, oh, like, hard on herself, looking super pretty, whatever. And then you see these guys that, like, for instance, I like what I... If I see something in a guy, I, I'll see myself, right? I'm like, oh, this guy makes money. You know, he has his business, whatever. <laughs> and he'll go for, like, a stripper. And I'm like, what? Or, like, someone who just doesn't do anything but lay on a couch. I'm like, why Why am I, I mean, even not, trying not so hard? not all strippers are like, like, like wow. Well, no, like, you get, you get what 
I'm know, saying? I'm like, a stripper and I don't lay on my couch all the time. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, I mean it like that, but in yeah, in, in a sense where it's just too. like people who are not doing anything. So right. it, it sometimes makes me feel like, why do I even try so hard? I, get, here, so, uh, I, yeah, I see it all me, the time. Let me yeah. translate the woman needs. Gentlemen, yeah. what she's asking is this. <laughs> why is it that as a higher earning woman that is successful and has her own business minded uh, ground, losing out to women that are quite frankly lower than me as socioeconomically? Correct? Thank you. Yes. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Good question. Well, you know, what's that, man? You got it. I'm, we're going to hear their answer as well, too. But I'll give you my rebuttal before they answer. Uh, ladies, your, your sexual marketplace does not include your social financial status. It's not even in the same stratosphere. That's why. That's why. That's 100% why. That's the only reason why. So, yeah, are you losing out to a chick on the fries at Burger King or, or or a stripper? I mean, if she is focusing on being cooperative more than a career, then most men want peace. Most men want peace of mind. Not someone to compete with. That's just not what happens. That's not what that's not that's not what me and want. We don't want to compete. We don't want to compete with our women. We're naturally competitors as competitors as beings. But we're not trying to come home and compete. No, that's not what we want. We want cooperation and peace when we get home. So maybe that stripper or that chick who you said is just sitting on her butt, she may have mastered cooperation. See, that's what I understand with women. Women a lot of times. They want to, like we said before, equate male counting stats in the dating sphere as their own. And it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way at all. And then you won't spend any time learning how to be cooperative. Learning how to be mentally fit and understanding, hey, if I do get such man, I don't need to be looking left or right. I don't need to be having this or I'm going to choose, I'm going to settle mentality. I don't need to be having that mentality when the numbers of, of women and men is so vastly off that if you do get that good man, why would you have that mentality? You, gotta, you better remove it. You don't have the luxury to have that mentality. Men do because it's more of you than us. But that's not our fault. Take it up with God. We, we didn't decide that. Start back here. So, very good question. I'll explain in, in detail, right? So, what do guys really want? And, and, and be ready, because this yeah. is, uh, like, yeah. he's going to give you a very honest truth that men are not going to tell you right what now. What do guys really pussy. want? Okay, <laughs> pussy, and they want a submissive woman. Okay. Yeah. Now, perfect, sure. right? Oh, you yeah, know. So, our frip, right? We will date a girl that works at McDonald's, right? Not because she's um, going to help us pay bills, but because, one, she's attractive, right, young, and then, two, for the most part, she doesn't have all the drama and all the like the headache of you know what I'm a boss, babe. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? It's kind of like less headache for us, and she's submissive. Less headache. So the average career woman in today's society is very strong, opinionated. She's very like um, how to put this uh, combative, and most guys would rather say you know what I'll go to a strip club, find a hot chick that's that's cool down to earth, and mess with her rather than a girl that's like a uh, business woman because I know when to come home from the battle fighting dragon whatever I got to do with this headache. And secondly, like let's say I want, I want to just vibe, relax, chill. A girl that doesn't have all those, like, you know, barriers or built up, like, um, tensions won't have that problem to me. So I feel like, as, as most guys, we'll take anything that's, like, coming to us. But at the same time, if it's less stress, we'll take it. Uh, I got a quick question. So you're an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. Okay. Are, would you consider yourself a boss babe, strong, independent woman? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. But I could be very submissive in a relationship. Okay. To, it, to the right man, though. To the right man. Yeah. I'm yeah. not submissive at you all. Like, I'm very Mike, sorry. I'm yeah. very like um. I won't even go on a date until I'm just like okay, like after a couple shots. Um. But then to the right guy, I'll completely be submissive. Like I'm not like controlling yeah. or yeah. I'm not you trying have, to. You, like, have a, you have a threshold. Like a man has to rise to a certain level to be for you to be able to submissive to him. Right? 100. Yep. So <laughs> I want to ask her something and don't be mad at me. But. Oh, no. Would it, so you just said earlier about men being toxic because you you don't like being controlled, but you would be submissive to the right guy. Like, that not that still controlling? 
but you would be I don't get it I feel like maybe I don't know what it is but it's like I think that every girl has that if that makes sense where it's just like if you don't want to sub- be submissive for instance let's say my ex he made let's yeah. say 50k a year or, you know, so if he makes a million you happily be submissive Wow. It's kind of like, why would I be submissive to you when you have nothing to uh, Like, you're not even taking not, care of okay. me to a certain extent. Like, yeah, you have nothing yeah, to offer, yeah. and I'm going to be submissive yeah. to you. It doesn't yeah. make sense. It doesn't. But then I get that. You know, yeah. there's a high value guy, and then he's like, he's uh, nice. So, you know, so he's, he's toxic whatever. because he's broke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. And wow. 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 You hear that, fellas? You hear that, fellas? You hear that, fellas? You hear that, fellas? Do you hear that, postman? Do you hear that, truck driver? Do you hear that supervisor at McDonald's? Do you hear that manager at Amazon? You are toxic because you make 50K a year. Not that you are a negative person, that you bring people down, that you're a violent person. Nah, you're a good person. You're a church going, God fearing man, responsible man. Take care of your kids, man. But you make 50K, so you're toxic. Wow. Wow. We're toxic based off our social economic status. Not based off of what we actually do that's toxic. But if you are broke in their eyes, which is the average man, that women consider them broke, because $50,000 a year is more than what the average man makes, but that's toxic. And she's saying, hey, she needs a couple shots. She needs a couple shots of liquor to even give you a chance. Because she's not going to be submissive to just anybody. And it's crazy that women think they can turn that stuff on and off. You being submissive is a very key indicator to how feminine you are. Most women that's not, that's not submissive, they're more masculine. More, most women that are more submissive, they're more feminine. And what are heterosexual men attracted to? Femininity. We don't want masculinity. So, if you have this boss B-I-T-C-H mentality Independent woman mentality I'm going to submit when I Choose to It's funny You want to submit when you choose to But you want the man to be That same man all the time You don't want him to start providing once he gets to you You don't want him to start making six figures once you get, when he gets, Once he gets to you You want him to already be that guy When he chooses you But you're not already that woman When he chooses you you still got ways to go. But you want a top 10 man and he got to deal with a builder bear chick. You get to learn on the job, but he's the top 10% guy. But you get to learn on the job. And you're snickering about it like it's cute. It's not cute. And y'all are four beautiful women. You know, y'all will get bad tag. Man, y'all will get some nasty stuff done to you. But that doesn't mean someone will commit to you. Because of that mentality. Because of that mentality. Because you still have the mentality if he achieve and come to the table with all the things you desire in a man, that you're going to pick and choose if you're going to submit to it. That man ain't got time for that. Because you don't understand a man's value and you don't understand your own value to him. Or you'll be doing those valuable things, not being combative. Like the man said, the more you do achieve in the economic space, yes, your standards do rise. But that doesn't mean your, your level in the, sec- in the sexual marketplace rises. Because you're not getting more beautiful with time. You're not getting more cooperative with time. 
See, it'd be different if all that boss independent lady stuff, if you was doing that stuff to contribute to the man's kingdom that you want to be with. But you're not. You're not doing any of that to contribute to that. So what is it all for? Let's dive back in. We got a little bit more of this. Let's go. He says what to do when he's broke. Your bills. Uh, I'll say like that. I'll say that. Like that. I'm, I'm going to give you the most real answer ever, and you're probably not going to like this, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> Let's say me and you are at a nightclub, right? And I walk up to you and I say, Oh my God, your dress is gorgeous. I love your heels. I love your hair. Where'd you get it done? Oh my God, you're Without so sexy. sexy. You literally sound like all okay, the time. <laughs> okay. Now, now, and I go, Oh my God, you're so high. I love your tattoos. Where'd you get them done? Would you want to go on a date with me? How'd you feel? Um. Okay. So first of all, yes or no? Yes or no? I'm gonna keep this simple. No. You would not go on a date no. with me. Can you tell me why briefly? Um. I I just feel like one, like you're just using it, an excuse, like to talk to me, uh -huh. and you're just super shallow. But I mean, if you if you're at least like you're beautiful, or you notice something about me, or like let's stand. Okay. I don't I'm know. being politically correct. The real reason you wouldn't want to go out on a date with me is because I'm being acting like I'm gay. Correct. Yes. And that's a turn off. Yeah. Okay. It's cheesy. It's cheesy. Literally, okay. I hear all the time. Oh I love your hair. I love your tattoos. Every single guy. It's so cheesy. I'm so over but, but it. Say the, something the, different. But the point is, is the way I said it to you is I, 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 if I was hot enough and I told you those same compliments would be different. The yes. point is you didn't like the context in which I spoke to you in a feminine gay manner, correct? Yes. That's exactly how men feel about masculine women. Yep. Woo! Woo! So, so, woo! Woo! We're going to end it right there. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That cringe feeling that you feel, ladies, when when you want a masculine man, but he approaches you feminine and uh, it's cringy. Those cringe feelings you get from those beta males because you want that alpha masculine male is cringe, right? Because why? He's not exuding masculine male characteristics. That's how men feel around masculine women. It's cringeworthy. Like, like, come on. Nobody wants to be with this hard shelled callous on her hands type of woman. You know, and she does not, I'm not saying these women are that way, but that mentality. We don't want that. We want a feminine woman. Hey, I don't have to drop too much final thoughts on this. I'm going to leave the full link to this video in the description box. This was a good one. So I'll leave you ladies and fellas to answer this question in the comment section. Why are modern women so educated but yet so lonely? Let's go.